Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for August. I've already done one for August, and I'll tag it to the end. But this is just another one. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time, okay? And not every reading is for you, okay? So let's just see what comes up. And what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? a pile we don't I don't want a pile I just want a few there we go okay now they're coming out I think I need one more oh well perfect perfect you ready purse pay attention to your finances so you really need to pay attention to your finances in August Lily, spiritual love. So you have a spiritual love here. Ant, work, achievement, success. So you are going to have success. Your hard work is going to pay off. You also have a spiritual love connection here. Pay attention to it. Don't ignore it. Let's get a couple of these. What do we have for Leo? Mm. Never gonna happen. You got something that is never gonna happen. Bad advice from a friend or family member. So you've received some bad advice from somebody. Okay, you need to, you need to uh, listen to your gut. Okay, listen to your gut. Never gonna happen. Something is never gonna happen. One more card for Leo. Listen to your gut, okay? Ooh! Blank canvas, clean slate. You have the opportunity to create whatever you want. You have the pen. You have the pen. You have the ability to create whatever you want at this time. Okay, that is a clean slate. You write the script. You're in charge. So this is starting from scratch. This is a clean slate. So you are going to be starting something. I feel like it's, it's time for you to get creative. You need to get creative during this time. Hmm. Starting with a clean slate. Interesting. Maybe you're writing a new story. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for you to get creative. Maybe it's time for you to create that life that you want. You absolutely have the opportunity to do that at this point. One card for Leo, please. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's positive change. It's moving in a new direction. So you are at a stage in your life where you are moving in a positive new direction. This is good luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. It is the end of a chapter, which is interesting, right next to that blank slate or clean slate or whatever it is. That's the positive change, of course. A chapter is coming to an end. It's, it's destiny. It's meant to be. It's positive change. Good luck. Luck is on your side. Ah, I just cut it to the fool, which is a new beginning. Okay, this is the beginning of a new journey for you. This is, this is your clean slate, okay? This is starting from scratch, okay? So you're, you're embarking on a new journey. This is the very beginning. 
This is at the very beginning of something. It looks to be pretty good, okay? It looks to be really good with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, that's something fortunate. It's a fortunate change of events. I don't know if something has happened to you recently that uh, has bring, it's obviously it's a lucky break. It's a lucky break of some sort has brought in you something very, very fortunate. So there's a fortunate change of events. This allows you to start over with a clean slate. This is a new beginning, okay? It's a beautiful new beginning. This is exciting, okay? Stepping into new territory, starting a new journey. So you are starting a new journey during this. This is the beginning, okay? But you have received some bad advice from somebody, okay? Don't listen to it, okay? Don't listen. This is your story, not theirs. Okay, this is not their story. This is your story. So, um, could be a family member, could be a friend. This is your story, not theirs. They're, they may they may be giving you, and I got chills just when I said that. They may be giving you advice based on their experiences. Okay. Maybe they maybe they're hurt. You know, maybe they're hurt from their past experiences or they live in fear or whatever the case is. You this is your story. Okay. One card for Leo, please. Ooh, source. Source. Very interesting. Source. Something about source. I love that card, considering I'm soul source tarot. Source. Surrender fear with the power of prayer. Miracles can happen now. As a source of comfort and hope, prayerful, prayerful thoughts strengthen your faith in life in divine consciousness. Life isn't always happiness and joy. Experiencing sadness and sorrow is part of life. Turning to prayer during times of trouble and darkness opens pathways for the divine, for the divine will act on your behalf. The power of prayer can be assessed by anyone, anywhere, at any time. When positive energy exists within and around us, it can help us balance any physical or mental condition. And you definitely have some positive energy here. You do. Divine Source speaks to us through prayer when we truly surrender our fear and open our heart to pure love. People tend to turn to prayer only in times of trouble. In fact, they should offer prayer even in good times to show gratitude and thanks for blessings that they have received. A continued flow of divine, divine surrender opens us to new possibilities while increasing our strength on a spiritual level. And we have spiritual love here. So it's, I'm wondering if you, ha and, and when I, prayer, okay, prayer, it feels like your prayers have been heard and the positive energy that you are putting out is bringing you a spiritual love. Okay, we definitely have prayers being heard, a fortunate change of events, starting over from scratch, connecting on a spiritual level. You have a divine connection to source. They hear you. Anyway, let me get back to this. Have faith. The ascended masters in heavenly realms will respond in divine deliverance if you surrender your heart to receive. You have to be able to receive. That's, a, that's an issue. By being open to the work of miracles, you allow universal synchronicities to bless you in abundance. Prayer helps you or helps your mind and body to become one. Divine communication is strong right now. Messages from loved ones, angels, ascended masters, and divine source are brought to you now. Pay attention to thoughts, feelings, and impressions you receive during and after prayer. Invoke your spiritual power and blessings from heavenly hosts and deities by surrendering to faith with an open-hearted, routine prayer. That means doing it like on a regular basis, okay? The power of prayer is strengthened by your spiritual state. Mantras open doors for divine communication. So right now, 
Pray for the miracle you need because you are being divinely assisted. Pray for the miracle that you need on a regular basis. That doesn't mean just today or tomorrow. Do it on a regular basis. And have faith that it will come true. And it's gonna. It is. It's the, the luck is on your side. Okay, luck is on your side. So it feels like you have a you have a connection to source right now. They're really listening to your prayers. They hear your prayers. They hear your prayers. They've heard your prayers. Okay? So Maybe it's this friend or family member that is telling you that something is never going to happen. That's what this is. Believe. Have faith. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? You got a new beginning here. You do. This is the beginning of a new journey. It is. This is really the, the, a beautiful thing. Ace of Cups reverse. Luckily, that's in the past. Maybe you've been unloved or you've been in a loveless situation. It is in the past. Or you've been, you know, emotionally guarded. Um... World reversed. That is in the present. Um, eight of Pentacles reversed. Let's keep going. Five of Swords defeated by lack of love. Oh my goodness, that's where you were, right? You had to walk away from somebody who didn't love you or didn't didn't nurture you. It doesn't have to be a partner. It could be a family member. There's a lack of love here. It starts out with uh, a lack of love. Okay which has probably brought you to your knees at some point in your life. Five of Swords, belittlement, betrayal, abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse. Uh, could have gone all the way back to your childhood. Um, the world reversed right now, though, resisting. That's in the now position. It's in the present, resisting, resisting and ending. It's like... Something isn't over yet. Maybe you haven't learned your lesson. Lesson. It's resisting some sort of change. Stuck. Staying in the present. You need to focus on the future. Don't stay in the present. Don't don't look backwards. Okay. Continue to look forwards. Um, there's a cycle that is over. It's evident that it is, but it feels like you're you're reluctant. You're reluctant. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands. Strife. Tension. Right now, you may be feeling some strife in your life. You may be going through some sort of turbulence as this cycle is ending in your life. There is a cycle that is ending, and you still may be going through some tension. You may be dealing with some tension. You could be dealing with some competitors or people that are competing with you or messing with you. You know, you be maybe dealing with some conflicts or some power struggles. Um, Six of Pentacles in the future. That's really good. Um, King of Wands. That's in the past, though. It doesn't kill you. It makes you stronger. That's the truth. That is the truth. Princess of Swords in reverse right now. Definitely dealing with some conflict right now. May have to do with a child or somebody that is very immature. This is somebody that is not your friend. You have an enemy that is disguised as a friend. If it's not a child, you may be dealing with problems with a child. I wouldn't say that's an enemy. But if it's not a child, it's somebody that is not your friend. This is somebody that is very aggressive, very uh, spiteful. This is somebody that may be jealous of you, that wants to bring you down, that is causing you problems, wants to compete with you. There's some sort of competition here. It has to do with somebody that has been in your life for a while. Um, I feel like you don't see eye to eye with this person. This person is aggressive. They they want to fight with you. They want to bring you down. They don't want to see you succeed. You've got somebody here that doesn't want to see you succeed. It's either a friend or family member. It's clear. The world reversed is lack of success. It's not succeeding. Whoever you're dealing with is trying to, it's almost like they're watching you. They could be stalking you. This is somebody that um, 
is trying to to make you uh, uneasy. They're, they're they're causing tension for you right now. Right now, it's almost like they don't want to see you succeed. Judgment reversed. Huh, but, okay, judgment reversed is lack of awareness. It's in your future, okay? So there's something that you need to wake up. You need to wake up. You need to be honest with yourself. You may need to move on from a bad choice. I mean, like, like, like I just read, there's good and bad in every situation. And I know that a lot of times, I mean, I've done my homework. Leo likes the positive. Leo is a very positive sign. You don't want to hear the bad. But the bad, the negative shows you the light. Okay, it shows you the light, okay? So you have to experience the bad situations in your life to know that there is light, okay? To, to find your strength. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If you didn't experience those bad experiences, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be as strong as you are, okay? You'd be that weak little individual laying on the ground being stomped on, okay? You would be. So it's those experiences that have made you into the power horse that you are, okay? So I do feel like judgment reverse in the future. That's lack of awareness. Need to move on from a bad choice. Need to accept that something is over. And I feel like that's a thing too with you. I feel like sometimes you have a hard time accepting that. And I know that it's a thing, okay? And you don't have to like me. Okay, I'm here to give you the message. I don't, you know, you have such a big heart, right? The sun is the big heart, right? You have such a big heart. It's hard to accept. It's hard to accept when people don't like you. It's hard to accept when you can't make things work. It's hard to accept when sometimes things don't go in your favor. It's hard to accept when you have to walk away from somebody. Okay, that's hard. And I can see that it's hard to accept. It's hard to release. But you deserve reciprocation. You deserve balance. You deserve to be treated with fairness. You deserve something more. You deserve to work with people that respect you and that are going to put in effort and uh, don't bring strife to your life. Okay, you don't you don't need to be in situations where you have to compete. And I see there's the main middle card is the five of wands. Constant battle, constant competition, playing games with people, engaging. You know, if you think about that five of pentacles card, not in this deck, but in particular in the traditional tarot deck, we got these five people with their wands and they're all over and they don't have to play. They don't have to play. They don't have but they choose to. They choose to. So you don't have to engage. You don't have to engage in the competition. Right next to that five of wands is the five of swords. You can choose to walk away from that competition. You don't have to play. You choose to walk away. I'm not going to compete with you. Now that is the ultimate strength. It is. When you can walk away, that is the ultimate strength. When you know your power, when you know your truth, when you know your value, when you love yourself enough to walk away, you're free. 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 You don't have to save anybody but yourself. I don't know where that's coming from, but we have a higher power involved here. Okay. And I know that we do. Okay. This is your, this is like a godly energy. Okay. It is. It's God. It's a higher power. And then we have source, your prayers being heard. There's some sort of protection here. There's a higher power involved. You need to have faith. This is faith. Have faith. Have faith, have faith, okay? Um, and listen to your gut, your gut, okay? Your gut gives you your advice. It gives you the best advice, okay? Your connection to God, your, your connection, and you're going to get the answers from within yourself through God, okay? Anyhow, anyhow. I feel like you've made a poor judgment call. You may not be aware. I mean, that is in the future. Judgment reversed. You may not be aware that something hasn't worked out. I don't know if it's with a friend or a family member. And I, and I say you're not aware because the Eight of Pentacles reverse is, is above that. Okay? You may not be aware that something, that something hasn't worked out. 
because there's a higher power that is protecting you. This is protection. It is protection. They're protecting you from somebody that does not have your back, okay? The Five of Swords next to the Five of, of Wands. This is somebody that is only looking out for number one. This person is a strong competitor of yours. All they want to do is take you down. They don't care if they hurt you. They want to win. You're dealing with somebody that wants to win, and they know that you're going to play, okay? They know that you're going to play, all right? Don't play. Don't play. The, the ultimate strength is walking away. And I know people don't think that. they want to. If you want to fight, what's that going to do? It's going to bring you stress. There is stress here. Okay, there's stress. Fighting brings stress. You want to have a peaceful life? You want to have a stressful life. The choice is yours, right? Anyhow, I do believe that um, some of you are... Uh, probably going to be dealing with some competition this month you definitely have a strong competitor here that is probably I don't know if they're spreading lies about you or this is a troublemaker this is somebody that uh, has no moral conscience that does not want to see you succeed okay they don't and so they're gonna it's almost like I feel like they're spreading lies they're spreading lies about you and I think it's because they're jealous they may be jealous of of who you are they may be jealous of your big heart they may be jealous of your connection to source okay um, I feel like uh, you don't really have to worry about it because of that six of Pentacles everybody everything you're gonna get exactly what you deserve and so aren't they I feel like because uh, there's karma underneath that six of pentacles with the judgment card that's karma and there's two sides and the higher power sees the truth the higher power sees the truth so there's somebody that is messing with you that is gonna get some karma oh my god oh my god there is somebody here that is messing with you that is going to get some karma. You're the boss. You're the leader. we got the King of Wands, the Page of Swords reversed, and the Judgment reversed. Judgment reversed is bad karma. Luck is on your side. Thank you, Lord. Have gratitude. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Um, King of Wands, you are in control. You are in control. You're the boss. You're the boss. You're the leader. Get prepared for some unexpected conflict or some unexpected competition to do something. I don't know if it's up against the law or to say something, you know, because this person is very arrogant. You're dealing with a very arrogant, uh, boastful person who is probably broken hearted. They're acting on pain. This person... Um, wants to wants to fight with you wants to battle with you wants to take you down in some way wants to wants to dim your confidence oh my god there's going to be an unexpected conflict and i have to tell you we got three fives the hierophant the five of swords and the five of wands Unex expect the unexpected major life changes major life choices personal freedom Expect the unexpected that something is going to happen that comes from a conflict. You are going to receive something, You're good, but it's good. It's positive. You're, I feel like it's going to go in your favor with this Six of Pentacles being in the upright. It's not going to work out for this person that is trying to take you down. This person is not going to be successful because we got the world reversed, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Swords reversed. I feel like it's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is unaware that you have a connection to source that you're protected in some way you are protected i know that you are you could also be dealing with a taurus you're going to receive something you are going to be receiving something it feels like some sort of reward Because the real fortune is a fortune, and the six of pentacles, this person, somebody's going to be receiving something. Maybe it's like accolades as well. Maybe it's for walking away. Maybe that's the higher power sees that you're walking away, and they give you something. 
and you're unaware that something is coming. Something is coming for you and it's positive. It is positive. It's going to bring balance to your life. You're unaware. You may be, for some of you, you may be unaware of a love, a reason why a, a situation didn't work out. Maybe you were in some sort of unrequited love situation where somebody walked away from you and you've been, you know, flogging that dead horse because the world card reverse is flogging a dead horse, resisting change. It didn't work out for a reason. We've talked about this many times in my readings. Rejection is God's protection. You are shining. Okay, we got the King of Wands here. You are in a position, a very strong position. I feel like you need to hold your head up high. Be proud of who you are. Whoever this person is that is competing with you, that is causing you strife, they're not going to be successful. As long as you be, as long as you hold your head up high and be proud, you're looking good. You sh you are looking good. Everybody can see that you're looking good. You're in good health. Do not let this person bring you down. You have somebody here that is really trying to step on your toes. They're, it's almost like they're going to trying to burn you. You know what I mean? This, it, because of this fire, you know? I feel like it's like, you know, it just feels like they're trying to burn you. You know, they want to burn you. They want, it, it is. It, it feels like attack as well. It could be a verbal attack. You could have somebody here that is verbally attacking you. You know, they're saying lies. It is lies. It is lies. This person um, is going to be getting some karma. They are going to be getting some karma. They're going to be experiencing a loss. They may be losing a job or losing money or whatever it is that they're, they're doing for whatever it is that they're doing to you. Karma is, is going to... Um, take and give to you they're taking something you're gonna because the six and the six of pentacles is about give and take and i feel like you're going to be receiving something that you've been waiting for and it's it's being taken away it's being taken away from this person that has uh abused you there's abuse here this for some of you it has to do with money as well um You're going to be receiving some information that you don't want to hear. You've got somebody here that is being dishonest. They it feels like they don't have any respect for you whatsoever. But you're gonna get the you're gonna get the opportunity. You're gonna you're gonna get the accolades. You're gonna get the respect. You're gonna get what you deserve out of this. And whoever it is that is trying to tell lies about you is not gonna get away with it. There it feels like they're gonna they're gonna lose something. I don't know if they're gonna they could lose a job or they could lose their money or whatever it is. That's their karma. Their karma for lying. Your prayers have been heard. I think that there's a prayer that is about to be answered. You're going to be receiving something that you didn't think that you were going to get. This is going to, it could be money. It could be a job. I don't know. It's something that you didn't think that you were going to get. This is going to allow you to start over with a clean slate. You're going to be successful. Do not let this person uh, scare you because I feel like you're going to win this battle whatever it is and I feel like you uh, well you're going to win you're going to win you're going to win you're winning you're winning whatever that means you're winning you're winning good luck